What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, you know who it is. Uh, you just seen the intro, so uh, let me get into it. And I got to bring uh, good luck with me because uh, we're going to talk about an important topic in about three, two, one. Hey, good luck. Make your cameo. There he goes. Good luck, you know, I don't know how long good luck's going to be with us, so I got to take advantage of him while he's here. So today we're going to talk about something that he's wondering about too. How can we do this? Three, two, one, bang, baby, here we go. We're talking about how can we do get economics better in the black community. Now, if you notice in the black community, our economics is, is, is not the greatest, I'll say. There's no such thing as innovations in the black community. There's no such thing as being uh, taking advantage, taking the reins of the economics and going forward and moving ahead. Because most of the time, when somebody has an idea, there's always like 30 million people telling you, "I ain't going to do it. it, ain't going to go nowhere." But I try to instill on these young people: if you don't do it, who's going to do it? And that's what we got to encourage in our uh, younger kids. We got to encourage a sense of, ec I mean, economic, en entrepreneurial, and, you know, empowerment. You know, and, and entrepreneurs run this country when you think about it. It was, the, uh, it was the middle class that built this country off of manufacturing, and entrepreneurs started all the businesses. And even today, in your local, in your local neighborhoods, uh, I mean, yes, Walmarts are still going good, but if you look at some of these in your local neighborhoods, the still mom and pop shops are thriving. It just depends on where you're at. And these are local businesses. These are entrepreneurial ships. And we don't teach that within a lot to our young black brothers and sisters. You know, first of all, I want to put off another topic real quick. Excuse me, I'm in, I'm in, a, I'm in the heat right now, so I got the uh, air conditioner and I got a couple of fans blown because it's really blistering. So excuse that if there's any residual noise. So let's get back to the, what I'm talking about, entrepreneurship. But like, in my, in my family, we're, we got a bunch of entrepreneurs and we all started late. Like with me, I'll talk about me. What, I, what happened was I wanted to do videos. I was always interested. So what I did is I started a business. Well, the, the best time not to start a business is during the housing collapse. But no, I didn't want to listen. So, and let me tell you something. During the housing collapse, the banks weren't giving out loans like that anymore. Back in the day, you could get a pretty much a loan for anything. You, like even a personal loan and translate it into a business loan. I'm not going to go into depth on how you do that. But if you're slick, you know how to do it. But, uh. So what I did is I pulled my uh, some of my 401k money out because it was losing 20% a month. Now, if, if anybody's going to lose 20% of my money, it's going to be me. It ain't going to be some suit in New York City. So what happened was I invest, I took out a, 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 a portion of my 401k and I um and I what I did is I invested it in camera equipment, editing equipment, and computers, and it, it's, it's to where I am now. And every so often, every I say every every about every I want to say about three years, every three to four years, I'll say three to five. Every three to five, I do a major upgrades. Like I just did an upgrade uh, last month, where I did another professional camera. When I mean professional, I mean like like the ones your local TV station uses. And I I, I got more equipment. I got I'm, I got a like what I do is what I'm trying to do is I'm, I got a business ride now where. Um, it's at the shop where I told the guy to go over it and look to see what it needs and I'll, I'll put whatever I have to put into it because I want to use that car to hit all these hot spots. I'm trying to get stuff rolling. I'm doing this with going on my own dime. I'm not using no government money because you got to go through BS and jump through hoops but that's a different story for another day. What I'm trying to relate to you is I took the initiative and, if I, and I rolled the dice. Now, I could have failed. I could have just gave up. Whenever, and like I said, you meet a lot of negativity in the black community when you do stuff like this. Even today, people still... It's the people like who actually do their, their, their due diligence and look stuff up on the internet who found out I was on the internet. Because I don't make it a big... Like I said, when I still have a job. I still feed my family. Like I said, I mean, it's a catch-22. I have both things. So, uh, what happens is if people at work they're in the same stuff that I'm in, and they, a couple of people see my video, we didn't know you do that, and I'm like, yeah, because I don't tell you, because it's not your business, now if you would ask me, I would say, yeah, I'd do it, and you know, yada yada, and go through all this, but the fact remains is, 
they, I, I, re, I even received some negativity. Well, who do you think you are? And this, that, and the fifth. And you know how you get. You know how some of these Negroes get. They want to. It's usually the failure ones, by the way. I tell them I don't know everything. What I do is I talk to people. I do my research. I do my due diligence. That's a new word for some of you today. Due diligence. Look it up and use it. So back to the entrepreneurship. And I'm telling these young kids, you got to invest in yourself. It does, it's not going to come easy. And then they're like, well, how do we get the money? Look, man, I would prefer you to get a nine to five and this work hard and, you know, do that, go that route or get a group of people, invest, you know, have contracts. I hate to say this. You have to have contracts. That way, you know, friends and money don't mix. It's sure as hell friends and family don't mix sometimes. But to get your contracts and just, just just find something that you like to do. If, if you're baking, start a little baking shop. Start by going to some of these picnics and some of these bake sales and just, just you know, go from there. Maybe something you like to do, you know, draw pictures. Do that. I mean, there's, there's many things you can do. There's the passion for what you can do. Because if you go on Facebook, you see what black, most black people do. Most black people on Facebook or want to be models, want to be rappers, want to be athletes, or want to be princesses. And this is a majority of people on Facebook. Go look it up. And then, and then, then when they come to me, I'm asking them, well, what are you doing to further your career? What are you doing to, uh, besides just posting, posting pictures of you on Facebook? And they're just looking at me, why? And I like, I put, a couple people I put in contact and they didn't do nothing. And that, that's kind of discouraging to me because I'm like, I'm putting you in, in there, and if you don't, if you're not willing, let me put it to you like somebody told me, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, why should I invest in you? And if I invest in you, don't think you're not getting, you're not getting most of the money. And that's the problem with black people. They think, well, if you ask, say, like well, a couple times I had a couple of chicks, I do videos for. One chick was like, well, how much you gonna pay me? I'm like, number one, who the fuck knows who you are? They won't know you unless I do you. you know, so you can go find some other cameraman to do you. I said, I don't give a fuck. But like, it, it's the problem. The problem is people people overvaluate themselves. That's another thing that hurts. I mean, just because you got got five thousand friends on Facebook, you still rocking a Dairy Queen uniform. So the, the, don't get it twisted. You know, it, 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 that's what I mean. But I'm trying to build. I'm trying to help others. I'm trying to bridge gaps. And like I said, in our in the, for for black folks. The best thing to have is an entrepreneurship type of mind and concentrate on economics. Like I said, and don't give me an excuse for black people charge more. No, they don't charge more. It's that you guys want the homeboy and homegirl hookups. The black dude charges less than the Asians, less than the Arabs. Matter of fact, you'll, you'll go to the Arab store, and the total will be like 14 bucks. You'll give them the 20 and tell them to keep the change. I've seen this. So, so let's, let's not go down this road. Like I said, I, if you look at the Hispanics coming into this country, if you look at the Africans coming into this country, a lot of, they all have that entrepreneurial mindset where we know here's here's a product that we know will sell. It's a matter of getting the product to the people and imagine and just getting the sales. And then y'all want to get mad about it, how they're making money and you're not. Well, they're taking what you don't have. That's called initiative to get off your lazy ass. And then, I'm gonna, and I, and then I know I'm going to hear a bunch of excuse makers well, what if people don't have... Well, look, man, it's not my problem. You have to get off your ass and do it yourself. I've, like I said earlier in the video, if I do your work for you, don't think you're getting a cut of anything. Now, if, if you help me along, well, yeah, you get a cut. But if you think I'm going to do all the work and you just sit there and reap the rewards of your thought, where where they do that at? That's why I said... In America, blacks are not encouraged. Black people are not encouraged to have an entrepreneurial mindset. And if, or if you do have an entrepreneurial mindset, other blacks will give. Well, you think you're better than some? No, I'm not think I'm better than somebody. I just don't want to be the same humdrum guy like you are. And then they go, well, well, you're just the lean. You're just a company. You're a presser. No, well, let me put it this way. If you weren't calling the economic system, it'd be it'd be just another just different name, and I'd have to go by your rules. So you'd be my oppressor too, sunshine. Would be different. Explain explain to me how you your system would be different. If you can't adjust, adapt, that's your fault. You choose not to adapt. And, and like, like I said, most of y'all you know, y'all did something stupid more than one time in your life to get to the position where you're at. And you don't know how to adapt. You don't know how to how to 
evolve. But the fact remains, to build our community, you, we, need, we need to teach entrepreneurial economic leadership. We need people to go for the ring. We need people to quit making excuses. We need y'all to quit acting like your models. We need to quit acting like your rappers. No, I don't want to hear your goddamn mix that you made in your bathroom that you sound like every other goddamn rapper. No, I don't want to see, I don't want to see you have, have flashing half naked. I can do that for free on X videos or something. For real. Like, like it's nothing new. And, uh, and that's the problem. Everybody's a dreamer. Let me put it this way. Estee Lauder had a, a great quote. And if you don't know who Estee Lauder is, Estee Lauder... Uh, you know, the, the makeup empire, the lady who found the Estee Lauder, makeup and all that, she had a great quote, and the quote was, quote, I didn't get here by dreaming or thinking about it, I got here by doing it, and I tell you people that all the time, you need, the black community needs more doers than dreamers, and, and look where dreaming has got us, exactly, nowhere. Look at all these! Look at all these! Look at all these sixty-year-old talkers that sold you a dream, and where it, it got them rich, but they didn't get you nowhere. That's why you gotta you gotta do for self. If you ain't gonna do for self, let me put it this way: if you won't go out and fish for yourself, don't don't expect to eat. I can teach you how to do it, but if you won't do it for yourself, you don't deserve to eat. So, I, I just want to help, and we gotta build this. And it's in in the world. The world to build is through economics. If you're not building, you're destroying. So if, if that's the case, and I know there's gonna be a couple these old Negroes tired. You're just using the oppressor system. What system do you have? What system? What system have you shown me that's leading the way? Besides being broke, old, and drinking 40s all day. I'll wait for that. All right. Well, if I, I'm done with this video, so I got more to make. So I thank you for listening to it. Questions, comments, you know, hit me in my inbox. I'm out. Peace.